It has been 20 months since Russia invaded Ukraine, and the war now appears to be at an impasse. Ukraine's top military commander telling The Economist magazine his forces are locked in a stalemate with Russian troops along the front lines. Right now, modern technology, including drones and the ability to jam them, is preventing either side from breaching enemy lines. And these developments come as the House of Representatives approves billions of dollars in emergency funding for Israel, but not for Ukraine. Illinois Representative Mike Quigley criticizing Republicans for excluding Ukraine from that bill. He joins us now to discuss that. Congressman, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Good to be here. I want to talk about your recent trip to Ukraine, but first, let's talk about this bill, specifically, intentionally excluding Ukraine for aid. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Uh, the NATO Secretary General uh, uh, Stolenberg said, we have the capability and the strength to do both, and we don't have the luxury of choosing only one threat and one challenge. Uh, this nation has a history of being able to do more than one thing at a time. Uh, they are both equally important. So uh, today's choice was a political one. Uh, I, I would assume meant to divide Congress on the issue of Israel, uh, which is dangerous and counterproductive. Dangerous in both places, of course. And you did meet with Volodymyr, President Volodymyr Zelensky recently in Ukraine. Does he feel as though the U.S. is starting to neglect uh, the country? He's very appreciative and didn't show any concern about neglect. I think he, he's only human to appreciate the fact that he ought to be concerned about what's taking place, not the least of which is the fact that we can't seem to govern. Uh, we're funding ourselves 45 days at a time. We almost shut down. Uh, we almost blew the debt ceiling. Uh, we had a new speaker and an impasse for 21 days. Uh, so obviously he'd be concerned about that. And the fact that uh, the issue of the Ukraine war was blown off the newspaper pages by the conflict in, in Israel, which we understand, uh, but we have to draw attention to it. And look, this was a diplomatic mission. That's why I went there to reassure them of our support. Uh, it was also an oversight mission to see how well our weaponry is doing and how the conflict is doing on the front lines. Are you confident that the administration is looking at both wars equally? Uh, we know that the president spoke not long ago from the Oval Office saying that they both need aid, they both need attention. Do you think the administration is doing that or are we looking at maybe all talk and no action? No, look, they presented a package that's pretty significant. I think one that the Senate's taking up that would include a you know, pretty dramatic increase in assistance to Ukraine to take us through the year, uh, assistance to Israel, assistance involving uh, Taiwan, uh, border policy issues. So uh, there's a big enough bill the administration has going forward. And oddly enough, the Senate is is the good actor for a change in this. I believe the Senate with, will within two weeks present that as, as a bill and pass it on all those fronts. And then it comes back to the House. And it's simply a question of whether the new Speaker of the House will put the more thoughtful, uh, broader-based bill on the floor. At what point do you see both sides, Republicans and Democrats, getting their acts together within their parties? Look, I mean, look, <laughs> at times both parties have their moments. But you have to appreciate that in the time I've been in Congress, Republicans have chased out three speakers. Uh, we, we never chased out Nancy Pelosi, and, and we've moved forward and passed a lot of legislation. She, I don't think she'd let It's not that, that there's not a lot of Republicans <laughs> I can work with and I like, uh -huh. it's just that frankly, they're in the majority and they have to get their act in order. All right. Congressman Quigley, thank you so much for speaking with us. And we hope to talk to you on go about good things soon. Very soon. Thank you. All right. Take care.